Hi, hello, and welcome. I'm Athena, also known as Acha Abe, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos. I make random videos, and don't hesitate or don't be shy to comment down below what you want to see for my next uploads. Again, thank you for clicking on this video, and I hope you enjoy watching. Currently, I am a third year computer science student here in the Philippines and these are my six tips for you. So as you can see, the title of this video is Why Create? It is a video giving you tips about aspiring computer science or IT students. Before I begin, I would like to thank BNW Vid Ventures for coming, commenting on one of my videos to make a video tips for first year to third year computer science student. So, I had this idea that I wanted to make this video inclusive for all the courses that is related related to technology, whether are, whether you're taking CompSci, IT, and computer engineering, etc. information systems. So, I am I I still have one year left for me to experience being a computer science student. But for now, these tips are what I have um, carried with me along the way from first year and up until now I am a third year CS student. So to make it short, I created my tips as a as an acronym for for you to for you to easily remember these tips. So, I'm going to start with letter C, compromise. So, if you want to become a CS or IT student, if or if you're currently a CS or IT student, compromise is important because you need to be open for adjustments, be open for changes, especially when it comes to your resources. I know not all people who wanted who wanted to take these courses are um, privileged for them to really for them to learn. So a tip for compromising is you need to ask for help whether given now we are having online classes so you need to find a way to have a laptop, to have a desktop, or you can just ask someone to lend you a used laptop. Maybe you can adjust some of its specs and you're good to go. Or, I mean, there are other ways. So I hope people who are watching this, who are currently taking CSR IT students, also comment down below their advices when it comes to compromising with their uh, resources and how they handled especially those people who have experienced learn, um, graduating CS or IT without laptops. Let's help each other, help people who, who wanted to who wanted to or who are wanting to take CS or IT. So that is uh, one, my first tip, compromising resources also compromising with people who are not uh, taking CS or IT especially this is like one of the uh, issues being a CS IT student is that people don't know what that our capabilities are limited in terms of knowledge so we, we need to compromise and make them understand and learn that we do not know everything we are still learning that's why we are a student and compromising to to make yourself patient in facing with those kind of uh, people you need to calmly explain to them that i am a cs and it student i am not a technician electrician whatever you want to call it and I am still a student, I am still learning, and I'm letting you know that if one of your requests is is or will be taught to me, I'm happy to help you fix that problem. So next, tip number two is to rationalize. 
So given the word rationalize, is to answer the question why. Why do I want to take CSIT program? Why do I want to learn? Why do I want to have a career that is related to CSR IT? Or especially for those students or students who are currently taking CSIT, why am I learning this? So we need to understand as students that not everything that we learn, we learn or we are still learning just ends there because I know it is frustrating that we see as IT students oftentimes learn some subjects that is not on our interest. May it be programming, may it be web development, game development, uh, security, because I understand, I'm sorry, I understand and also know from heart that we have different specific fields that we want to be in. Personally, I want, to, I want to become a systems analyst. I wanted to take CS because I wanted to become a systems analyst or maybe have my own company. I, want it, I also wanted to be related to business. So that is why I, I am currently taking computer science. And other people, they want to take CS or IT because they want to be a game developer. They want to be an, ad, um, an administrator. They want to be a QA, uh, QA analyst or something, a manager or something like that, a programmer. So you really need to rationalize because rationalizing also will help you motivate yourself, especially when you're on the brink of giving up or especially when you are at the verge of, uh, of thinking, should I shift or should I not? Because you really need to listen to yourself. You should not listen to people who are pushing you or I mean, who are forcing you to take CS or IT because they want to. Because taking CS or IT is for you in terms of you are the one who is studying and not them. So you really need to make sure that taking CS or IT is really what you want. It is not easy, but I assure you it will be if you believe and listen to what you want. My third tip is experience. So going back, we have compromise, rationalize, and now the third is experience. So even though we are still learning, we also need to make sure that we are um, open to experiences, to immerse ourselves, to apply what we learn. We always need to apply what we learn because if we don't if we don't apply what we learn, we will just end up. Uh, forgetting about it and we will regret not applying what we know by helping other people from using it as a source of income you can work while you're studying but I am not a I am I cannot say anything about it because it is different for other people some can tolerate uh, being a working student and some cannot so there are other experiences aside from working while studying you can teach other people what you know it is called uh, peer mentoring so you don't have to really invest your uh, time and your energy on working you can help um, others if you really if you want to serve them um, without any without any income or profit from it so experience also includes helping each other learn what you need to know and experience will make you feel that I am a CS and IT student and it will make you realize what you're capable of as a CSNIT student. So if you want to become a CSNIT student, 
experience is really important for us students because it will help us realize that we are cap more capable of what we think we are. Okay, so the fourth tip is achieve. So learning, experiencing, compromising, rationalizing is what really matters being a citizen IT student but also what can motivate you to push yourself out of your boundaries is to achieve something whether it may be you want to create a game you want to create a website you need to really push yourself out of your limits uh, you really need to think outside of the box you need to Think of something that will really set your standards more than what you can do because it may sound it may sound harsh or or um, very pressuring but wanting to achieve something will help you engage I mean will help you put yourself out there. You will be known for what you, for what skills you have, and there will be also it will also be rewarding for you because people will see how good you are in something that you love to do as a CS and IT student. So achievements uh, will will help you to be known for um, your talents and achieving something will also push you to never give up on what you want achievement is not temporary that is why we need to thrive if you want to become a CS or IT student and if you are currently a CS and IT student thriving is important because from what we all should remember we should never stop learning Especially knowing that CS and IT students, when we graduate, learning never stops. Because the reason is that what we uh, learned during our college days is updated or improved or revision into something um, more better or more, more complex. Um, I will give an example. For example, HTML. Currently, we are using HTML5 and for sure after I graduate or maybe years after that, it will be changed into something more uh, complex or maybe more easier for uh, us programmers to use. So, learning never stops. So, when you never stop learning, you are thriving. You are improving yourself. I admire those people who have uh, reached out to me because they have or they are currently or are already working. Some have graduated, and I can see that uh, this tip is effective because I can see uh, CS and IT graduates. Who are working and they are still thriving they reach out to people who they for them to learn because what they have learned maybe they forgot or maybe there is a something new something updated and from there you can see that you will thrive if you don't stop learning okay and my last tip is Encourage. Encouraging yourself, your uh, classmates, your peers to, to really imbibe in them. The five tips that I've previously mentioned which are compromise, rationalize, experience, achieve, thrive. And the last but not least is encourage them to do the same to to use these tips because it will help them 
if they want to become a CSNI or IT student, and if they are currently uh, taking CS or IT or anything, any course that is related to CSIT, it will help them discover their potential. It will help them know what they really want to become after they graduate. It will help them flourish and improve themselves as a person. So that ends my video. So I will repeat my... So I will repeat what the tips that I have said. So why create? So I have explained why you need to compromise, why you need to rationalize, why you need to experience, why you need to achieve, why you need to thrive, and why you need to encourage. So I hope this video will help you if you are interested or if you are currently taking any course rela related to technology. If you did, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for my channel. I do random videos and if you want me to make another video related to CS and IT, feel free and don't hesitate to comment it down below. I appreciate your time, I value your time, and it makes me happy that you choose to watch my video. Until next time, again, I am Athena or Acha Abe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys!